I tell all my hoes, rake it up, break it down, bag it up. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, rake it up, rake it up, rake it up, rake it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up. I tell all my hoes, what? Rake it up, break it down, break it down, bag it up, bag it up, bag it up, fuck 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 it up, rake it up, rake it up, rake it up. Hey, what's up, you guys? So today is going to be a different type of video. Today is going to be my boohoo try on. Let me just say, I am tired of trying on these clothes. I've had to film this multiple times, so I really hope, I really, really hope, I really, really, really hope that this comes out right. Because I suck at remembering things. I'm gonna put all the specs on the side of the video for you guys to see. Um, I'm pretty sure I got this in a plus size. Um, it's like that very stretchy, um, thin cotton material. I really like that because I do sweat and I got all of this going on and that creates more sweat and it just makes me hot. I do like the fact that it has like this mesh at the top of it. These leggings right here, they are a little bit revealing. Um, you need to make sure that you either have like, some thongs or some black underwear because it will show through. The legs on the pants, they are a little bit short. It's up the same type of material as the shirt, so I really do like that. I'm just all about having comfortable clothing to like wear. The older I get, the less I want my clothes to cling to me. One, because I got big boobies, and I don't like my boobies that close to my chest because that creates sweat. Maybe if I had small tits, I wouldn't feel that way, but since I don't, so the next top I paired these leggings with is this oversized embroidered um, mesh shirt. The three categories that I typed in when I was searching was velvet, mesh, and silk. So all the things are either velvet, mesh, or some type of silky material. It's really nice. Um, it's a little bit forgiving, you know, if you're getting a little bit of extra weight. Um, this shirt is oversized so that it's a little bit forgiving of your food baby because I definitely have those often. It's this like little funny funny thing right here at the neck is kind of like a I don't know like a choker. I don't really like it. Okay so the next t-shirt that I have right here is this mesh top and it does have cotton sleeves. Um, I really do like this. I think that it's really cute. Um, I wore it already to the movies when me and Bay wouldn't go see it. It was trash. It's mesh all around at the back. Um, you do have the option to have it off shoulder or kind of like how I like to have it. I do like the sleeves. Um, they're a little bit looser. So it's, I don't know, it's not so tight around the arms if I want to roll it up. I do like the material of a mesh. Um, there's a dress in here that I got and I don't really like that material of the mesh it's a little hard it's a little coarse but I like this mesh because it's a little bit smaller um, it feels a little bit better on the skin but the next outfit is kind of like the same type of deal I just paired this burgundy mesh top with these cute um, mesh leggings I think that these are I think that these are sports leggings because they have like that stronger spandexy type material and then on the back of it, like right around here, it says fit or something like that. So I didn't know that they were workout leggings, but I do prefer these a lot better versus the other leggings. I'm so out of breath, y'all. This makes no sense. One thing I didn't like about these when I first did try them on is the fact that it is kind of long in the crotch it's very long in the crotch but it is a little bit forgiving around this area and it kind of help covers it up a little bit um i try to I'm tr i try to get a lot of forgiving clothes around my tummy area because one i am trying to lose weight two i really don't like to draw too much attention to my boobs and that's why i need to get another sports bra because the cup running over. One thing I did, another thing I didn't like is the fact that it gives me long bottom. So call me Simone 
Now, depending on if you saw my intro or not, will depend on if you recognize this um, little outfit. I just paired it with another embroidered t-shirt, but this one is not oversized. This one is regular size. I wish it was oversized because it would be a little bit more forgiving, like I said, around the tongue area. But I do like the embroidered blue t details. I really do like the whole idea of mesh because I hate being hot and this it, it allows breezes you know to flow through and you don't really see set sweat stains you know what I'm saying so the next outfit I have is this mesh dress I absolutely hate this type of mesh um, gonna get a little closer and hopefully you guys can see how big the mesh is it looks really really cheap and it does have like a little bodysuit situation. I don't know if I like that or not. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like that or not. It's it's nice to have, but it's just very invasive down there. I don't know. Just this whole vibe of this dress just feels like I'm being violated. I don't know. It's really ill-fitted at the top. I thought that this was going to be more of the... Um, smaller mesh material like the uh, the shirts that I showed you but it's actually very thick it doesn't it's not flattering to me um, I think I would give this to my little sister because her boobs aren't as big as mine the booty to titty ratio don't so the next um, little outfit thing is my favorite out of everything that I did get um, because it kind of reminds me I don't know it reminds me of Biggie I don't know why I don't listen to Biggie or Tupac but it just reminds me of that time where hip-hop was good I don't know it just gives me nostalgic type of vibes it's comfortable it's high low um, it's oversized it's forgiving the only thing is that the obvious sleeve that hey this is meant for someone that is a plus size is I like this I love the oversizedness I think I look really good in it um, it just it flatters I just I really love it it's really pretty um, it's a velvet material it kind of has like it, it about it reflects light like a whole lot it just feels like really really great quality velvet but the sleeves are a little irregular I'm thinking because the velvet is pleated, um, but yeah, this is how this one looks. It looks, it will, I think it will look really, really good paired with some velvet boots. Okay, so the next situation we got going on here are these high-waisted olive silk pants with this little bow in the front, and we got this nice little mesh bodysuit with a touch of velvetness on the boobage area. The crotch is a little big. But I don't mind it because, like I said, it's very forgiving around its area. I feel sexy but sophisticated. I feel like I could get away with this on a nice date. And I could also get away with this at a business meeting. If I had a bigger bra, maybe put a camisole underneath this. I got this blazer thinking that it was, uh, like... I don't know, I got this blazer thinking that it was a different material. This is like scuba material. One, I feel like I am a knockoff brand of a, of a, is it coming off? It came off. It, it came off. I actually like that it came off because that made it look even more cheaper than what it looks like already. I don't know, it, I thought it was gonna be like a, I don't know, a thicker feeling, like a, not like silky smooth, but see, like I said, I only typed in silk, mesh, and velvet, so I should have paid attention to what I was typing in. This blazer, I absolutely hate it. I might give it to my baby sister. I'm pretty sure she'll look good at it. One thing that I really hated about all the clothes is that they came with these really, really huge tags, and they were just so freaking dick and annoying and loud so I cut them all out of the clothing so I don't know what size of clothing are okay so the next outfit we have are some more high-waisted pants 
These are also silk, but they do come with pockets and they are actually pants. They're not capris, but I'm really not happy about this fit because I don't I forgot what size I got them in, but I wish that they were bigger, especially around the thigh area, um, because it gives me like that Kim Kardashian pamper booty, and I don't like that. That ain't cute. I do like the pants. I just wish they were a lot bigger. Um, so I did pair it with this, with another mesh bodysuit. Um, this one has more flare arms. It kind of makes me feel a little festive. I don't know. The only thing I really don't like is around this part, it's a little itchy. You know, it's a little itchy. It is also embroidered too, but as you guys can see, it's supposed to be like right here on the nipple part. But since I got titties, you know, it spreads out. I wish I would have got it bigger, but I'm pretty sure I didn't get it bigger because there were no bigger sizes. Um, I might give these to my baby sister. I love them, but... I just got too much booty for it, to be honest. So the next outfit we have here is this little cute um, dress type of shirt style thingy, my jigger bobber bobber that you guys were asking me about on Snapchat. This is my second favorite piece. Um, and I say that because the boob area, I'm not trying to flash you guys, I have on a sports bra, but the boob area, I would need some type of booby tape to tape this down so it doesn't fly open. Because if you did notice in, the intro or the video that I did on Instagram, or if I put it up in this video too. I'm sorry, bro. Y'all just don't understand. This bra is cutting off my circulation. Hold on. Um, I really do love this. It's very sexy, it's very flowy, very airy, definitely very forgiving especially around this area you wouldn't be able to tell that i look like i'm almost six months pregnant which i am not back on this kind of high low type of situation um the only thing that really kind of confuses me is that it looks like it's a little irregular around this side like i don't know if you guys could kind of see it looks a tad bit irregular but it could just be the way that that's supposed to look. Okay, so the next situation we got going on right here is this um, silk burgundy um, dress situation. The model that had it on looked really cute because guess what? The model didn't have titties. So, um, yeah. I don't know, it kind of makes me feel like an Amazon, you know, it just, and not the cute Amazon, it makes me feel really too big. I was just trying something that was a little bit out of my uh, style comfort zone because I don't wear things like this. Um, it just doesn't, it's like, it's not as cute on me as I thought it would be. So this is yet another dress I think I'll be giving to my baby sister because I think that she would be able to wear something like this because she's a little bit more smaller than I am. If y'all hear Junior, please ignore him. He playing Destiny. He is like so loud. Okay, so the next situation we got going on is this cute little festive mesh dress right here, baby doll mesh dress. And it also have embroidered details on the bottom. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, you would definitely have to pair this with some really high heels if you're short because I am even 5'5 five five and it's a little long on me. So if you're shorter than I am, you're probably going to have to pair it with some really uh, tall heels. One thing I do want to mention with all these clothes, you do not want to put them in the dryer um, because most of the materials that I got, they are shrinkable. So... If you want something to shrink that's of that type of material, put it in a dryer. But with the embroidered um, things, I would not put them in the dryer because they were, they will, um, it will get tethered or whatever the case may be. Because on this one, I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like tearing or fraying a little bit because I wasn't really paying attention when I did wash these clothes because these clothes came with like a really stale type of smell and I didn't really like it. So I was trying to 
you know, get rid of it. And I forgot that you're supposed to put these types of things on delicate, low heat. If you're going to dry them, you're also supposed to, you're also supposed to wash them delicately too. And they're supposed to be hung out to air dry. So just keep that in mind when you're buying things of this material, especially if they're not super, super expensive because you need to take care of your clothes. I mean, I mean. So that's pretty much it for my Boohoo try on haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you found it really, I don't know, entertaining. I don't know. I hope that you just like what I showed you guys. And if you do, I'll put all the links of everything that I got down below. Here is the grand total that I spent on these items that I showed you. Altogether, I spent a lot more. So if you guys want that part two for um, the pajamas, because I did order pajamas as well. If you want that, make sure you do thumbs up this video. If you have not entered my giveaway, make sure that you do check that video in the cards as well down below. I'm hosting a giveaway for you guys, so make sure that you go over, you pay attention to the rules, and, um, you know, enter the giveaway. So, um, yeah, I will see you guys later. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll talk to you in my next video.